Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, June 13th, 2021. Last time I worked a bit on the Hall of Sports horse. Why are you back there? Is there something interesting going on? Is there a zombie? A creeper? Something hiding? Or are you just interested in the chicken that... that sits somewhere behind the... the hedge? Maybe the horse is interested in the chicken. Alrighty then. Last time. Last time I worked a bit on the Hall of Sports. And um, yeah, looking over there, I think I need to increase the height of the pillars. I think I need to increase the height of the pillars at least by three blocks, four blocks or so to make them a little bit more substantial. And for this, I think I should bring some ladders as scaffolding this building just with with dirt will be not that great. So yeah, I need a lettuce and then I will just increase a little bit the height of the pillars and see if they look better or if it looks even worse or so. We need to see. We need to see how everything pans out. Speaking of sports, I had an amazing bike ride on a Friday morning. As discussed in a previous episode, the last days were really humid and I enjoy this. I enjoy this a lot because then the, the sun is obscured by clouds and it's way more comfortable, at least for me, when it's warm and humid than when it's clear blue sky and the sun is just burning down from the skies and yeah, uh, turning turning everything around you into furnace. That's bad. That's really bad. So I really enjoyed this weather. And on Friday, it was so humid in the morning that we even had some fog. As I was sitting at my uh, breakfast table and I enjoyed my breakfast, I was thinking, Hmm, it must be really, really cool if I could get above the the clouds, if I could get above the, the fog. And so I hoped when I just cycle out of the valley, so the valley where the river mine is located, then I might... 15 letters. I hope this is enough. When I cycle out of the valley, then I might be above the fog and... I can hopefully have a beautiful look down to the to the valley of the river mine and take some amazing pictures. So just before 7.30 a.m. I jumped on my road bike and I started my cycling trip. It already was amazing as I cycled along the path along the, the river mine as Occasionally the sun was peeking through the fog and this was really cool to have those strong sunlight than the fog right next to it and super vibrant and strong colors. Th this was amazing. This was really great and it continued to be like this. I unfortunately never got out of the fog so even as I climbed out of the valley I was still in the fog and the fog was so humid, so it was really more than 100% humidity or so, because it started to accumulate on my cycling sunglasses. Normally I wear those to protect my eyes, of course, from the sunlight, but also from the airstream, especially when cycling downhill or when cycling against headwind or so, this can become a little bit stressful to the eyes, and so it's good to just wear those um, protective cycling sunglasses but in this case they started to obscure my view because the moisture started to accumulate on the lenses and um, yeah th this was strange but also interesting 
later on I even noticed that the the moisture started to accumulate on the metal parts of my handlebar especially on the on the levers for the for the shift and for the brakes and this was interesting this were very interesting as I wanted to shift up shift down and um, break a bit I I felt that hey the, the levers are wet <laughs> this was interesting also as I looked down at my arms I saw that each hair on my arms had some little water droplets on them this was also very very interesting and um, yeah I, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed the cycling trip occasionally as I said the sun peeked through the through the fog and as I was on my way back as I cycled along the river mine again the sun managed to burn away the fog and um, yeah then then I was cycling in the in the sunlight and this was really cool this was really a great start into the day starting the day with a 40 kilometer long cycling trip this was great this was really great huh maybe maybe this is too high now is this too high i don't know let's just see so yeah th this, was, this was really amazing also that it, it just fascinated me because I cycling cycling through this this fog and feeling the moisture and seeing seeing all this moisture on my on my arms really gave me a close connection to nature and this this was just just great so it really made my day it really gave me some more energy for the day to yeah stay motivated throughout the day and this, this was great this was really amazing by now I am only yeah th this is too high this definitely is too high for the length of the building so maybe cutting it down by two blocks and try again let's cut it down by two blocks and uh, see see if this goes then into the right direction by now I'm only 15 kilometers shy of having completed the first 1000 kilometers this year and um, yeah th this is cool so so I'm close to to the first thousand kilometers cycling this year oh no th this is bad now okay maybe I need to Need to remove you. Build you again. Now continue to remove this. And um, yeah, I think I like to. I like to do those. Those last fifteen kilometers today. I do have. A little bit the idea may I'm not sure if I will really do this I will tell you this on uh, Wednesday but I like to get those 15 kilometers in a, in a small little little brick session so my idea is I already um, spoke of the this this hill this this uphill road right next to the place where I live so it's just a couple of hundred meters away from here where the the uphill section starts to cycle there I think I need to do two laps or so this should be about 15 kilometers but yeah to to somehow complete 15 kilometers there yeah I think I think this is better I think this is a good height now I think I need to huh on the other hand this is maybe not that bad to have this second row and maybe I can fill in here some some colorful blocks or so this might be cool okay let's let's do this let's do this the question is how do I get there 
So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six here. I need to build the first row, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can't see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I um, yeah. My my idea would be to do a couple laps there to get those fifteen kilometers done. I think it should be two laps, and then to since I wasn't running this week and I just like to do a small short run of three kilometers, four kilometers or so, to just do it right after. So that it's a little bit like a like a mini, a super mini tiny duathlon. But I think this could be pretty cool. Oh no, not you. You're annoying. Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to... Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I think it's easier to deal with that guy using the sword. Um, yeah, I, I might do this. I'm not sure if I will really do this, but I, I will tell you about it on... Um, where have I shot the other arrow? Definitely missed this guy. Huh. One one arrow is missing. But anyway, let, let's go to bed. Yeah, I will tell you on Wednesday if I really did this and how it was really as, as great as I hope it will be. So, um, yeah, th this is cool. Also, with the with the summertime and with the um, increasing time of sun exposure, it's now really this, this interesting time of the year where when I go to bed during weekdays, it's not bright outdoors anymore, but still there's some, some daylight left. And this is cool. I, I find this really, really interesting and really exciting when I go to bed and I can still still see something. Also, it, it's so interesting when it's yeah, the, just just a strong contrast between. All right, it's getting nighttime. It get, it's getting dark around four to five p.m. Or it's getting dark around ten p.m. <laughs> this is such a strong contrast and. Um, yeah, th this is really, really amazing me right now when I go to bed and hey, it's still somewhat bright outdoors. Oh, that's cool too. And it's also amazing me. The night from Friday to Saturday was the first night I slept without a blanket again. It already started throughout the, the week that when I went to bed it was so warm that okay I did not need a blanket dang it but um, Friday to dang it <laughs> Friday to to hey please please drop drop the the dirt Mr. Enderman I don't want to kill you it was so warm that I did not wake up. Normally I wake up in the middle of the night and I notice, okay, I should now grab the blanket, then I do so. But this time I woke up in the morning and I realized, okay, I guess it was warm enough to sleep without blanket. Yeah, we, we reached this this time. We reached this temperature that it's getting uh, way too warm, basically. And um, yeah, this can only get worse. <laughs> can only get worse over the course of the next weeks, months, and so on. There is one thing I am not sure if I should even discuss this more prominently, if I will just discuss it here in the coffee break, if I will also discuss it on my other YouTube channels, so the the vlog, real life cooking YouTube channel, but it's the fact that YouTube is changing once again a little bit the their approach 
to putting ads on videos. It's been already quite some time since I am no longer eligible for this uh, partner program. As I started YouTube, I quickly became eligible for this, but since then they changed the rules. By now you need more than 1000 subscribers. That's what I do have, but you also need, I think 4,000 minutes of views or watch time or so per month. And that's what I don't have. At this point, as they basically cut away the, the partner program for me, I was then thinking, okay, I personally will no longer watch an ad on YouTube. I will either use ad blockers or I will just skip the, the commercial, the ad. Um, but now YouTube has changed the rule that they can now themselves put, what what do I want to do here? Ah, yes, I, I want to produce more, uh, more cut sandstone that they can even put ads on videos where the channel itself, so like my channel is not in the partner program and all of the revenue goes to YouTube. All of the revenue then going to YouTube, which means it might be, I, I, I don't know. I, as I said, I use ad blockers and also I don't watch my own videos on YouTube. I don't know, but it might be that there are, there are ads on my videos. If so, then I apologize for those ads. There shouldn't be ads on this. And more importantly, I mean, it would have been, I, I don't know if you did this in the past or so. I would have highly appreciated it if I would still do have videos if, well, you would have watched the, the, the ads because in the end it would have given me some support and I could have used, it's, it's not much money I ever, I earned with doing those, this YouTube partner program, but it was some money and I put it towards new things I use for the channel and to, to improve the quality and so on. For instance, the microphone I'm using now for many years is a thing I basically got by being in the in the YouTube partner program. Of course, I know there are also other things I could use. I could go to pa Patreon, I could do streaming or so. I'm even considering streaming or so for quite some time, but I do have the feeling with streaming, there, there's this big problem of the time zones. I really enjoy that I do have viewers from around the world, especially from the most western part of Canada, for instance. And by just doing YouTube, all of you do have the chance to watch my content, whereas if I would do streaming, I would maybe stream after work. So this would be, I don't know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Central European time or Central European summer time in the, during the summer. And I don't know, this might be early in the morning on your end or late in the, on the day if you live somewhere else. And yeah, I feel I, I don't want to exclude someone just because of their, their location. So streaming is, is not always great, I feel. I still like to give it a try one day. Maybe we can organize something like that, that I announce it way ahead so that you can hopefully schedule it and that you can attend because it would be cool to have a stream where you can all watch and where we can figure out how streaming works or so. But um, yeah, basically I enjoyed a little bit being in this partner program. It had some benefits for the channel, which I also found pretty cool, but it was never that, hey, I made a serious amount of money or so. But yeah, now with the fact that YouTube themselves can place ads on my videos, despite the fact that I'm excluded of the partner program just makes me angry and makes me mad. And um, yeah, I, I just want to say, uh, or I, I just want to, to let you know that 
those ads, if, if you see ads on my videos, they don't support me. They will never support me because I am not in the partner program. So all the ads you see will purely go to YouTube. And um, I find this bad. I, fi I find this really annoying. I would really enjoy to go to a different service. I'm not sure what service I could use, but it would be cool to, to have a different service. I know there's TikTok, but TikTok has only videos of three minutes or so. So this definitely wouldn't work for, for my videos, for my content. Streaming as just discussed. I mean, it would be also interesting to do a cooking stream or something. I mean, just do everything I do as a stream would, I guess, be interesting and cool. But yeah, as I said, I, I don't want to exclude anyone. And I also want to have a little bit of an archive because yes, there, there are some video on demands and I do have, I guess, a direct upload from Twitch to YouTube or so. I, I don't know what, what is possible. As I said, I never really tried Twitch. But um, yeah, I, I personally still enjoy this, this video approach. Unfortunately, there there's no other service that does the right job or that has a similar functionality, is, is, has a similar reach as YouTube. And so it makes it really tough or basically impossible to switch services right now. I hope there will be a new service soon coming up. But yeah, I, I, I just find it highly irritating and really, really bad that YouTube now can monetize my videos and is telling me, hey, you are not eligible. Thank you for, for putting out all this content and thank you that we generate some revenue out of your content you just upload here. So long story short, I just want to let you know, if you watch those, those ads and you think you will support me, you don't. And I, as, as discussed, consider or if if there would be oh no those jerks uh, if if there would be a chance to or if there would be a different service i might change to a different service just out of this change of youtube's uh, stance towards ads and their new new ways how they they want to apparently generate some some revenue or so and um yeah so if, if you do see an ad on my videos, I apologize for it. I can't do anything about it. And if you watch it, you don't support me. Otherwise I would say, hey, those ads are my ads or well, not my ads, but watching those ads would support the channel. And so I could buy more things or so. Uh, as I said, I never did it for the money, but now being aware of the, or after this announcement of YouTube that, hey, they can monetize my content and I don't get nothing. I don't get anything for, for what they do. I, I find, find this highly questionable. And so, yeah, um, they just want to say, don't watch the ads. You're not supporting me in any ways. And if you think, which I don't want you and I don't want any support, basically, but if so, then there there would be, I guess, other ways how you could support me and the channel and so on. But yeah, th those ads don't don't watch them, don't interact with them. Try to use ad blockers, anything. It's just bad what YouTube is doing. And um, if you do have a service, a good service that you can really recommend where I can upload my videos, I would even consider to change to this new service as of now because I'm seriously mad at YouTube and I find this just just annoying. Either they give allow me to be back in the in the partner program, then okay, we can we can share some of the revenue. They get a, uh, a part of it, they get a certain percentage of it and I get a certain percentage of it. So okay, then then they can uh, use my content. But now using my content so that they can just generate revenue is bad. Yeah, that, that's enough of the rant. 
I still hope that you enjoyed this very episode and hope you will be joining me next time and um, that you're not scared away by the by the ads. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you. Thank you.